Hi everyone. So this is Adhirat Kapoor from Networkings. So I actually want to make an announcement today. So in two weeks, we are going to launch a workshop, right? We are going to be delivering a workshop on Docker and Kubernetes. So yes, uh, it's going to be a very fun workshop. You're going to learn a lot about the basics of Docker and Kubernetes. And uh, I'm, you know, probably sure that, you know, you must have heard of all these terms before Docker, Kubernetes, DevOps, and you're going to get a good idea of what is going to happen in this workshop, okay? So we are going to talk about DevOps. So let's talk about DevOps first before moving to Docker. So what is DevOps? So DevOps is a very commonly used term these days. And people think that, you know, it is something new. It has never been used before. But let me tell you, DevOps is not a technology. DevOps is basically a combination of practices, tools, and techniques. Now, what are these practices, tools, and techniques used for? So what they are going to do is they are going to help us increase the performance of the software that is created in an organization and also it is going to help in the integration of processes between the software dev and IT teams. So what does that mean? So up till now, people have been thinking that, you know, software development is far away from IT. They have no, you know, scope of collaboration, but that is wrong. So IT teams and software developers, they have been collaborating for a very long time, right? And that is what DevOps is all about. So basically a DevOps team is going to include developers, IT operation managers, and what they're going to do is they are going to combine the power of development and IT technologies, right? Linux, automation technologies like Ansible, networking, so as to increase the speed and quality of software development, okay? That is what DevOps is. DevOps is a very big domain right in devops you are going to find docker in devops you are going to find kubernetes in devops you are going to find linux you are going to find ansible you are going to find ci cd you are going to find terraform these are just some of the technologies and techniques that I have mentioned. And in this workshop, we are going to focus on Docker and Kubernetes. And in the upcoming workshops, we are going to focus on the rest of the techniques and technologies, right? So what is Docker? See, a lot of companies develop apps, right? And uh, app is not just about writing code in Python or JavaScript or any other language, there's much more to it. You've got frameworks, you've got architectures, you want to make sure that the code is checked, it is tested and then deployed, right? So continuous testing is done for it. So all that takes a lot of time, okay? And once developers have written their code and when they give it to the DevOps team, for deployment of that code, for deployment of the app, a lot of problems are faced. So what comes in between to, you know, solve this problem? Docker, okay? Now, before Docker, I want to talk about something known as containers, right? So you must have heard of virtualization, right? Everyone would have heard of virtualization. If you haven't, let me give you an overview. So you have your server, 
on top of your server, you are going to have your hypervisor. And then on top of it, you will run multiple virtual machines, right? V1, V2, V3, V4. But what is the end goal of running these virtual machines? The end goal of running these virtual machines are the apps, okay, which used to be cross-platform. And that is why we had to stick to virtualization. Now, there's a small problem with virtualization. It's that the OS has a very huge footprint. The OS has a very huge footprint. So what came as a savior? The savior was Docker. It was containerization, actually. So you have your server. On top of it, you are going to run a host OS. And on top of it, you will have something known as Docker engine that we are going to study in our workshop. And then for the app, whatever libraries are going to be required, they are going to be installed on top of Docker engine and then you run your app. So what is the difference now? What is the difference? <laughs> now the app can run without any problems without any dependency on the operating system. Earlier in organizations, this used to be a very big problem when the application has to run and the developer would create that application. It would run on his operating system, but it would not work out for the DevOps team. So to eradicate that problem, containerization was created. So in the IT industry, it's not Docker versus containers. It is the combination of virtualization and containerization. So it's not virtualization versus containerization. It is virtualization plus containerization. And that is how we can increase the performance of the processes of the products that we are building in our organizations. So this is where Docker steps in. Okay. So Docker is basically an open source project. It's based on Linux, right? And it uses Linux features to make sure that your apps are running properly. If you think that, you know, Docker is a new technology, Docker is very old. Google has been using their own container technology for years. Okay. And now why all of a sudden you're hearing so much about Docker because of the ease of use, the ease of deployment, right? I can just go to docker.com, download the tool, download Docker desktop, go to Docker hub, run as many images as I want. I don't have to worry about, you know, I don't have to worry about uh, getting another operating system. Now, on my operating system, which is Mac OS, I mean, you could have Windows, you could have Linux. On my Mac OS, what I can do is if I want to run Kali Linux tools, I can just get a Docker image for that. It's that simple now, right? Plus, not a lot of space is going to be occupied. So this is where Docker steps in. And then what is Kubernetes? Kubernetes is, you can say, the big brother of Docker, okay? So Kubernetes is also known as K8. That's what we call it because saying Kubernetes very often is going to be, you know, an exhaustive task for some. So we call it K8. So when we have a lot of containers, we have to manage them. We have to orchestrate them. So how are we going to do that? We are going to do that through Kubernetes. Okay. So it is also related to the concept of containerization. But with Kubernetes, we are going to deploy a lot of applications together. We are going to manage a lot of containers together. Okay. So that is what Kubernetes is. Okay. With Kubernetes, you are going to automate the deployment. You are going to automate the basic tasks of building containers and managing them. So Docker commands are different. Kubernetes commands are different. And it's going to be very fun learning all this in our course. 
Now, let me tell you about the workshop. So, when is this workshop going to be held? This workshop starts from 23rd of Jan. Let me write it down. So, the workshop starts on 23rd of January. 8 to 9 p.m. IST. Now, in the first day, on the first day of this workshop, I'm going to introduce you to the concept of containers. What are containers? Right now, I just gave you an overview of what we are going to study. But in the on the first day, we are going to talk about containers. How do they work, right? <clears throat> what is the difference between containerization and virtualization? What are the different software, right? A lot of people just know about Docker. But then you have LXC, you have LXD, you have other technologies as well for containerization. And then after talking about Docker, we are going to install it. That is what we are going to do on the first day. Then on the next day, day two and three, we are going to look at some of the basic commands in Docker. We are going to understand how Docker run works. We are going to play around with Docker images. Then I'm going to talk about Docker Compose and Docker Engine. Now you must be wondering like, is this all going to be theoretical? No, it's going to be a combination of theory as well as labs. And it's a very good thing that the labs for Docker and Kubernetes, they are free, okay? Not all of them, but a lot of the labs can be built by ourselves. And we have got a lot of websites to help us out. For example, there's a website called labs.play with Docker. Okay, this is one website. Then the other website is this one. So this is play with K8. So play with K8 is play with Kubernetes. So just like play with Kubernetes, we've got play with Docker. So here you're going to understand how to write down the commands, how to give them networking capabilities, how to start a server. You're going to understand each and everything here. And this is all free. Plus along with this, on the official website of Docker and Kubernetes, there are a lot of tutorials as well that you will go through in order to understand how this works, okay? So right now you are thinking like all of this is rocket science, but it is not. It is a very fun and interesting concept, okay? And Docker and Kubernetes, they'll help you out even if you are not a DevOps person. If you want to automate the tasks, if you want to create small labs for yourself to play with. Let's say you're in cybersecurity and you want to learn something new and you want to create some labs, but you don't want to install Kali Linux or you don't want to install Ubuntu. You can do that from the comfort of your own operating system, right? That is what we are going to do on day two and three. Then day four and five, we are going to talk about something called Docker registry. We are going to look at Docker Hub, how we can get different images from Docker Hub, how is networking implemented in Docker? What kind of networks will be created? What are the different ports that we can work with? And then along with that, we are going to study the basics of Kubernetes. What is Kubernetes? Why do we need it? And then we are going to set up Kubernetes on our own systems. And then on day six and seven, we are going to go through the fundamental concepts of pods, replicas, deployments, how do we create clusters? How is that going to work? What if, you know, one container is down? How will the other one take over, right? So all of that is going to be discussed on day six and day seven. So let me just conclude all of this for you. We are going to have this introduction to Docker and Kubernetes workshop on 23rd of January, 8 to 9 p.m. IST and the workshop, you won't even believe the price of this workshop. It's only 9.99 INR. Okay, so seven days of, you know, lab-based workshop. And if you're not from India, then you can get this workshop for 25 USD. So, I'm excited for this workshop and I'm hoping you are as well. So we are going to meet on 23rd of Jan and we are going to kickstart this. And it's also going to help you with your DevOps related career goals. All right. So that's all from me, Adhirat Kapoor, and that's all from Networkings. 
see you on 23rd.